Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Garage. And by the title of this video, you already know what is sitting here right in front of me. Um, but before we get into it, I just want to tell you what this video is going to entail. So I'm just going to go over the truck um, and f look at all the things that um, are wrong with it or that I want to change. And then also my plans. I want to go over the plans for this truck of what I want to do with it. So um, let's just hop into uh, what I want to talk about. All right guys, so I have the Revo 3.3 right here in front of me and by the title of the video, you guys know that this is a used one. Um, I got it off offer up. Um, I got a pretty good deal on it and this is what it came with. So it came with this old fuel bottle, um, air filter oil, some extra springs, um, extra arms, and the easy start remote thing. So. Um, it didn't come with tires or a remote, but um, as maybe some of you guys can tell, this is an older model. Um, they still have the Progressive 2 um, like rocker arms. Um, I think they're on threes now, so I want to replace those. I want to, there's a lot of things I want to do to this truck, but I just want to give you a little overview first of what this truck came with so I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and let's get into it so here is the engine um, the guy said that he had it running like a while back but um, maybe oh actually in this video I'll maybe try to start it up he said it needed a glow plug um, I took it out and it definitely did that glow plug looked like it had never been uh, replaced so um, I'll put a new one in there um, but this is just what it is right here um, I've never seen uh, Revo in person, so um, I'm very excited to have one just because, you know, it's different. So it has the laid down shocks right here in the front. Um, it has this opti drive system, which I don't think anybody likes. I'm pretty sure no one likes it. <laughs> um, I've heard or I've seen like stuff where people don't really like it. I don't know. I've never tried it. Um, so I would be interesting to see how that functions. Um, but this is the rest of the truck here. Even the head on this 3.3 looks old. So um, this is an older model, you know. So I'm um, definitely going to be replacing a lot of things on this truck. So let's just get to the stuff. I'll probably be replacing just like stock stuff that like no upgrades or anything. So probably be replacing all these links, um, rocker arms, um, probably maybe some of the A arms. Um, definitely the bumpers the bumpers are pretty messed up so probably replace the bumpers and um, maybe the body posts as well I'm not sure about those I mean they work for now but uh, I'll probably replace those as well uh, this is all scratched up back here so probably replace that too um, definitely gonna have to get a new receiver and transmitter because I don't have a remote, so I'll probably just uh, throw one of the ones for my FlySky GT5 um, in there and use that remote <laughs> instead of getting a whole separate remote and transmitter. So um, those are basically the basic things. Maybe replace the fuel tank because um, uh, the way that the glow plug looked, I don't know if he, the person maintained this correctly and um there was some fuel in the tank it was like up to right here that was left in there and i don't know how long it had been sitting in there but i kind of want to replace this because you know it could be damaged or something and um and i re i want to replace it because the besides the basic things that i just said i want to do which is like you know regular replaceable stuff um i want to put a new engine so I want to take this 3.3 out. Um, well, first I'm going to see if it works. Either way, if it does work, um, I'm going to take it out. But uh, maybe I'll even put it in there. That would be fun. If it does work, I could put it in there. Um, but I want to see if it works first. But if even if it doesn't, or even if it does, I'm still going to replace it. Um, probably throw a bigger engine in there. Um, and then I also want to supercharge it. So there are, I'm pretty sure... They still make, um, RB Innovation still makes the superchargers for um, for these nitro engines. So I'm going to see if I can get a hold 
of one of those and I want to make this Revo like a street build so I want to put like um, on-road tires like big on-road tires on it um, and make it look like an actual truck and like a street truck and just make it go really fast on road and not take it off road just make it really fast on road um, and I want to do you know see how fast we can get it with the with the bigger engine and with the supercharger on it so that is what I want to do um, so that means you know I'm obviously gonna get new drive shafts I'm gonna replace a lot on this truck especially the engine Engine's a big thing putting a supercharger I want to see how that's gonna work that'd be fun if I can get a hold of one um, I'm pretty sure they still make them um, I looked them up the other day um, and they said they're on they were for sale like so uh, I should be able to get a hold of one but who knows um, the website could be out of date but yeah that's what I want to do um, obviously like I said new transmitter receiver um, that's just you know the stuff that I want to do before I get this running um, but now let's try to start this thing up I don't know if it will said he said it was running a while back I don't know he left fuel in the tank I don't know how if this engine is trashed because if he left fuel in the tank he probably didn't you know take all the fuel out of the engine probably gunked up in there so um, let's see if I could uh, start it up all right so I put a little bit of fuel in it um, put a new glow plug in it and that's it so I'm gonna get my glow igniter watch you prime it first see if it'll There it is, there's fuel in the carburetor. Took a little bit there, but there is fuel in there now. So let's see how it does. I haven't touched any of the needles or anything. the battery is dying in this all right so I put a new battery in here and then I also um, put the carburetor settings back to factory and um, the the idle was it was all the way shut the carburetor so um, I opened it up a little bit to see if we could uh, get some more fuel in there and get it to fire ready try it again So, um, I don't really want to, uh, fire it up again. That was enough for me because it is currently 1030. So, um, it's a little late to be running a nitro, especially in the garage. I don't have the, the garage door open. So, um, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you have a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.